since I stood up here in front of people, I, I remember the last time we weren't this big of a group. And, uh, so it's kind of a little nerve wracking, uh, especially doing this particular part here, because uh, I've never done this part either. So uh, we're going to go through a little experience, right? So, so real quick, uh, my name is Mike Anderson. Uh, I am a district leader here uh, at Primerica. I've been with Primerica uh, one year, two and a half times. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to you. It's been about two and a half years that I've been here. Um, the reason why we say one year, two and a half times, is because I've actually finally made a decision. Mm. You know, I finally made a decision that I'm done with having to ask a grown man for time off so I can spend time with my fiance. That, that's her back there, Melinda Walker. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, the whole thing is, is I, I, I'm pretty, pretty tired of having that thumb on you, you know, just, just having to ask for time. Just, that's the biggest piece, having to ask for time off, right? So I actually got started in this business not because of that. I got started in this business because of the money, to be honest with you. Everything that Jose just talked to you about, you know, the debt stacking plan, you help a family do that, we get paid. You know, you help them with their investment, we get paid. You know what I'm saying? You help them change from the red plan to the blue plan, we get paid. I mean, we, we get paid on all of this stuff, right? So what I'm actually going to talk to you about is that's the way to make amends. That's just the way to make the, the, the ends right. That's just how to make it meet. What I'm actually going to talk to you about is doing what Luke is currently doing, which is opening up an office, just like this one, building your own hierarchy, your own team. So let's get into this, right? So let's talk about how most people make their money. Do we know how most people make their money? A job. Absolutely. It's called a job. We call it just over broke or juggling our bills. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> or jump off a bridge if it's money, right? Basically, your, your, your income is based on your position, not you as a person. So it doesn't matter how hard you work at your job. This would be the person that's sitting right next to you, doing the same job for the same amount of money, doing less work. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah that, that's uh, how did that make you feel? Angry, Angry right? I, I don't like it. It's horrible. So what we like to do is we'll, we just like to tell you, look, you have no control over your time, no control over your money. Your boss tells you you go into the interview the job. Boss tells you the job is nine to five. You gotta come to work nine to five. Job tells you, hey, you're gonna make $14 an hour. You're gonna make $14 an hour. No control, no. Next way people make their money is self-employed. They own their jobs. Dentists, doctors, lawyers, hairstylists. If all these people, if a dentist isn't pulling a tooth, fixing a cavity, is he getting paid? Nope. No. No. If a doctor isn't fixing somebody's heart or you know doing an exam, are they getting paid? Nope. nope. Lawyers, if they're not putting bills, uh, if they're not billing time for their services, are they getting paid? No, no absolutely not. So being self-employed, you own your job. You have limited time and limited money. Limited time because if you're not working, you're not getting paid. Limited, limited money, that's why you got limited money, but limited time because if you're working, you're not with your family. I don't know, I like my family, so. <laughs> but let's check this out. The next way is being a, a business owner. You got total control over your time, total control over your uh, money, Business owners have a system. See, basically they have other people working for them. All right, so I'm gonna ask this question here for you. Uh, my man, let me see, I don't know Joshua. you. Joshua, let me ask you a question. Let's say, for instance, you own a, let's just say, for instance, you own uh, a baby, a baby sitting here, right? Uh, all right, and by law, you can only watch 10 kids. All right, and you just to make math easy, you're charging $10 per kid. That's $100 at the end of the day. If you wanted to make more money, how would you do it? Um, if I can only watch 10 a kid, I might have to hire somebody to help me watch oh, more than me. Oh, oh, <laughs> most people, right, most people say, uh, I'll raise, I'll raise the rates, but then you gotta go down the street to the next babysitting gig, right? Or some people will say, uh, get more kids, but by law, you can only have 10, right? So you can't do either one of those. So you're absolutely correct, sir. You have to, you know, hire somebody. So for instance, you hire myself. Now, I'm watching 10 kids, $10 per kid, right? But instead of paying me 10, you're paying me five. Where's the other $5 go? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Now check this out. Now let's say you hire me and you hire DJ to watch 10 kids each. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that, that would be a horrible decision. Yeah, they have, have the kids running around barking at everybody. Uh, so, <laughs> so, however, so now you have DJ Washington, I'm watching 10 kids, you're watching 10 kids, you're doubling your money that day. How much more time have you spent doing that? Uh, no more time. Really. <laughs> no more time, really. Do you know why? It's because it's a system, right? Right? Now, let me ask you. If you could go from being a business owner 
taking your money that you're earning in your business and investing it and watching money work for you. Mm. And all money, does money need to sleep? No. No, does money need to eat? No. No, no money helps you eat though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So let me ask you, if you wanted to go from side A to side B, which one of these two would you prefer? Side There's some arrows here just in case you need some help. <laughs> so check this out. So because that's the case, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Real quick, what uh, what you would have made if you were, you know, Jose helping Bob and Susan, right? For instance, people such as myself, I'm a district leader here. That's like your first basic level of promotion at Primary. Right, that's it. If you go from representative to a district leader, you're gonna give yourself a hundred percent pay rate. But then, I don't know. So <laughs> if you help them out, Bob and Susan, as a district leader, part time, like myself, you make about thirteen hundred dollars. Takes about ten hours to do everything up here. Mm -hmm. Now, how long does it take for you to make thirteen hundred dollars at your job? Um, mm. Long time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now let's say Too you, long. yeah, <laughs> very much so. So let's just say you decided to kick it in high gear. You actually start making the decision. You know what? I'm gonna start doing something. You become a regional leader like Chris Foreman. Make sixteen, uh, almost seventeen hundred dollars, doing the same work that the district leader did. Which one would you prefer? <laughs> regional leader. Absolutely. So let's say you're like Luke. He's like, you know what? I really want to do this, and you go full time. Because if you're making seventeen hundred dollars off one client, you're probably gonna go full time, right? Yeah, yeah, so I want to go full time. You just open yourself up for an office like this. Same client, $2,500. I think I want to be an RVP. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, when I got installed with this business, I saw the money. I didn't really, you know, I bought into the time because now I know, I, now I know what time is to spend with my family. Didn't really know what that was. I saw the money. The money gives me the time. Let's talk about how we act, how this actually works. We're just like real estate, right? As an agent. You have limited income uh, potential, no time freedom, and no security. As a broker, you have unlimited time potential, time freedom, and more security. Let's just say, for instance, you're an agent. And in, an, in order for an agent to make money, he has to sell a house. He or she has to sell a house. There's a 6% broker fee. This is how it works in real estate. They sell a $100,000 house. The broker's going to make a 50% commission uh, override. The agent's going to make 50%. So that's $3,000 split there. Would you want to be, would you want to go sell a house? No. No, I don't want to sell a house. Let me tell you why I don't want to sell a house. I don't want to sell a house because I want to be a broker. I want to go out and hire five agents to go sell a house each so that I can do the so I can do the 50% override and make a $15,000 income. Now, what do you want to be, a broker or an agent? Broker. broker. Absolutely. Now, part-time override uh, income. Like Chris Foreman, regional leader, you have two district leaders, two people like myself. You can go out and help a family as a regional leader, make $1,600, $1,700, $1, not a bad deal. You can build a team like Chris has built, you know, and you can do a override. You get two district leaders, go help a family each, that's a 400 by two, that's $800 override. Your income for, the, for that particular uh, moment is $2,400. Now, I'm not saying that's a, I'm not saying that's a month, I'm not saying that's a week, if you pay attention, that could be one night. Mm. I saw the money. Check this out. How many representatives would you want on your team? Thousands. 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 Now, if you could earn twenty to forty thousand dollars a year part time, uh, would you consider making a career change? Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. I know because I, I know I did. All right. So this is where it gets kind of rough for me. So primary the business model: brokers and regional vice presidents. See, Luke's a regional vice president. Man, I love this guy. This dude, this is why I love this guy. As a regional vice president, he's making 100,000 plus a year because he has an office like this. Not only is that, he's getting commissions on anything that he does, advances and earns, overrides, we just talked about that, monthly bonuses, we, we know what a bonus is, right? Residual income from securities, which means every time somebody puts some money in a, in a mutual fund, he's gonna get a sale, he, he's not even there, right? And then stock opportunities, I don't know, he's got tons of money in stock, and ownership. You get to own this thing after, after a period of time. You know what? Get started with us, we'll go into that a little bit deeper. Because, you know, as an RVP, all it does, all I saw was $100,000. RVP, you get yourself five different agents. Which would you want to be? An RVP or an agent? RVP. Because I know that's what I want to do. Now, let's say you're an RVP, you can develop other regional vice presidents. Here's you. Here you are. You say, you know what? 
this thing kind of makes sense. You, you, you get to uh, you know, hire somebody, you get to build your team, become that vice president, $100,000 a year, you're living pretty good, right? You help develop somebody that wants to make $100,000. The company will pay you $50,000 a year because you hired an RVP. That's pretty cool, right? I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. You can also build distribution. What we mean by that is, here you are again. You get three RVPs. You're looking at, what, $300,000 a year from you and your three base shops that you hired out? That's a pretty good income, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you can earn income from all your representatives, qualify for ownership, develop and promote as many RVPs as you want. Right now, they haven't put a limit on us hiring. So you can hire as many people as you want to. <laughs> Let's talk about our track record. I don't know, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Since 1977, we have 5,700 people that make over $50,000 a year. 3,200 of those people came since the year 2000. We've had over 100,000 people since, uh, I'm sorry, over $100,000, 1,600 of these people have come since 2000, so on and so forth. Question is, is are you gonna join that? Are you gonna get your little piece of the pie? Reason being, because Prime Eric in 2014 paid more than a half a billion, that's with a B, dollars to their sales force. Mm. I want my piece. Mm. So what I'm actually gonna do, because I'm done with this piece, I'm gonna bring Luke up here. Like I told you, this is his office, and you know, all he wants to do is make money like I wanna make money. So he's gonna tell me exactly what I gotta do to make some money who I gotta go out and help, how many of those people I gotta go help to become where he is. Open up my own office. Because that's not gonna do anything but bring that man more money. So what I wanna do is I just go ahead and bring him up here, let him tell his story, so you know.